guys, uh, today I am doing another buy and try. This one's especially exciting because it is 2K14. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I tried out last month, then I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm going to be trying out for this month, and a lot of it is unusual. Some people like unusual. I like unusual because the usual gets boring. This right here is mascara. I tried out three last month, which is kind of crazy, but um, that's kind of how I do it. I do it in sections like that. I'd have to say my favorite one out of all three was the Scandalize Flex Mascara. You guys saw me do that in one of my last tutorials. And that is my absolutely favorite mascara as of now. And um, the Mega Plump and the Colossal Volume Express Mascara, they were all right. They're kind of like normal, average mascaras. But if you want to get a good mascara, I'm wearing it right now. This is the Rimmel London Scandalized Flex Mascara. It's amazing. So still on the subject of eyes, I tried out a concealer. And this is CoverGirl's True Blend Fix Stick. And I really, really like this concealer. I didn't think I was going to because CoverGirl has okay products when it comes to uh, face. But this was like the exact right color for me. And I really, really liked it. The All May Eye Intense Color Bold Nudes palette was the bomb. And so was the L'Oreal Paris Voluminizing Smoldering Eyes Eye Pencil. These two things rocked and I'm also wearing both of these on my eyes right now because why not it's amazing so still on the subject of face I tried out these three products um, one by covergirl another one by Revlon and this one's by L'Oreal Paris um, this blush was not opaque at all um, I didn't I didn't really find myself really liking this blush I tried it out maybe like three times and um, it just the color payoff was awful and um, I don't know I just didn't really like this blush I didn't like this either it didn't really give off much color um, I don't know like just those two products didn't really work out for me as for the Revlon nearly naked powder foundation this stuff the bomb so lip product to try it out baby lips doctor rescue in the shade of uh, smoothing sorbet this was a really really great product I love the baby lips in general and the doctor rescue I think that part is just um, the feeling that it leaves on your lips it's kind of like the EOS eggs feeling you know what I mean like it's kind of tingling um, but this also has a great color payoff off like a really bright pink so I like this a lot I tried out two nail polishes both by sinful colors uh, and decadent and pine away both of these colors I wore on my nails for a long time, but what a quinky dink, I'm not wearing nail polish right now. Anyways, these colors um, were really good for Christmas time, and I wore these on Christmas Day, and it just went really well with my outfit. Adidas perfumes, there was one more, but I put it in my drawer, and I'm really too lazy to get up. These uh, were $10 for three of them. I'd say that's a pretty good deal, but the scents didn't really last that long on me. I found myself not really smelling too great still after spraying it a few times so it's not like I was smelly before it's just kind of want to smell like the scent that it smells like in the bottle but I mean it was all right last thing I tried out was this new me wand hmm what I have to say about this is I absolutely think like the heat the temperature that it gets is perfect for um, curling and stuff like that but uh, the one thing that I didn't like about this is the barrel is a little bit too big for the type of curls that I like to do and I know you guys know the actual wand that I use like all the time that's the black one by Numi uh, it's a lot smaller and it creates the curls that I like so I mean this this one's great it's really good if you want to have like looser curls but uh, I still really like my black one hi right, those were all the products that I tried out last month I was very honest with all of my opinions on all of these and uh, let's just get into what I'm going to be trying out for this month. First unusual thing, um, kind of heavy. Okay, the Ninja, it rules the kitchen, mega kitchen system, 1500, it's professional performance smoothie maker, at least I like to call it the smoothie maker. And 
It can do frozen blending, nutrient complex juicing, food processing, and dough mixing, which is crazy. And my, I just wanted to get the blender part, but my dad said, why not spend a few more dollars and just get the whole shebang? So, uh, we've been making a lot of smoothies this month. So this might be weird to you guys, but I recently have heard a lot of stuff about tea tree oil and what this does is it helps heal wounds and it's known to just make scars like vanish over time and so I thought this would actually help up my skin a lot because believe it or not I still actually have quite a lot of scarring um, but it's gotten a lot better and I know you guys can tell that my skin has definitely cleared up over this past year and I will be doing a skincare routine and I know I keep saying that but I just want my skin to be in really good condition before I do it so tea tree oil I'm gonna be trying this out even more I've been using this for like the past week and I've already noticed a difference and it's really awesome so so if you guys have been watching my videos for a while you guys know that YSL is one of my favorite makeup brands and I am going to be trying out four products by them the first one is the YSL taupe retro nail polish and the next thing is the YSL eyeliner in it's number five and another lipstick by YSL it's number three and it's called Rouge Voltupe and an eye palette by YSL and this is the pure chromatics palette and it's the number three it has two browns and two blues so I thought that would be good and actually the last thing I'm going to be trying is the Dior skin air flash foundation and I went a shade down for the winter time and I used to use this all the time and I loved it so I wanted to get another one it's quite expensive but it's definitely worth it because it makes my face look flawless you know everybody likes that so that's actually it for this video thank you guys so much for watching my videos I can't believe a year just went by and my three-year anniversary is coming up in the summer and it's just crazy I want you guys to know that these shirts are still available on my website and if you guys didn't know I have a website it's chelseacrockett.com it's pretty easy it's just my name I would appreciate it if you guys like looked at it daily just like you do Instagram or something because it's pretty cool website yeah if you guys want to see more buy and tries which I'm surely probably gonna be doing some more you guys can just click the like button and don't forget to hashtag buy and try on Twitter and Instagram because I still look at those tweets and I'll retweet you guys and maybe even follow you guys who do that so I love you guys and I will see you in my next video Peace. I feel like it's a form of art and I just wanted to show you guys my go-to smoky eye especially for brown eyes but this will work on other colors of eyes because neutrals look popping on every color of eyes